Gasco's ex-wife, Fanon Ima, who actually left her legal husband, Magasco, for another man, Max. We are asking, what actually happened with your Mr. Wright? Population is asking Fanon what actually happened with her Mr. Wright, Max. It says, Fanon has messaged Magasco, begging him to take her back, but Magasco sent a befitting reply to Fanon, where Magasco said, you were a mistake I made. And I don't want to ever repeat such mistake, Magasco said. Well, Falun is in total regret, according to report, crying out her lungs as she has been left stranded between Magasco and Max. No one to keep her emotionally. She has tried to fix her marriage with Magasco to no avail. Falun did not end at that. According to report, other screenshots surfaces on social media where Max and Falun were discussing, and Falun expresses her state of depression, stating that she was pregnant, but unfortunately, she miscarried the child, and Max did not show any signs of remorse, but rather, he was bent on ignoring Falun and telling Falun Falun is not her friend. So, he confronted Falun and told Falun how she went ahead begging Magasco to have Magasco back in her life. Other report talks of Falun threatening Magasco for laying claims that she was begging him to take her back in his life. Note that it was in February when Max Devlon and Falun Ima were on a cloud night on Valentine's, cloud night on Valentine's Day restating their love vows with lighted candles where Max actually tattooed Falun Ima's name on his body. It seems it was a love lasting session, but well, population cannot tell what actually transpired between the two, but this was done to make fun of Magasco, where Max declared that they have been together for three years, Why it was said Magasco got married to Falun from April 2021. Other, thing, other people think that Ima was playing a game of emotions, which has ended in tears. Well, Magasco's fans are so bitter, as some of them have taken to social media, advocating that if Magasco actually forgive and take this lady back into his life, they will unfollow Magasco on all social media handles. We are not saying anything as an independent media house. We are not saying anything. We are keeping our fingers crossed and our ears are on the ground. Our eyes are wide open for any other updates regarding the story. Of course, we'll not forget to bring you latest updates. Away from that, let's talk about our popular footballer. We are talking about our late Mark Vivian Fue. Yes, the father actually took to Vision Card. I mean, talking about who actually killed Mark Vivian Fue. So let's look into the report we sees. Let's look into the report it sees. Late Mark Vivian Fue's father accuses daughter-in-law Marie Louise of poisoning Mark Vivian Fue to death. He says it was this revelation was done by the father Martin Amogu Fue made this sh shocking revelation at Vision Card at a, a program hosted by Philip. He accused Mark Vivian Fue's wife Marie Louise of killing his son by saving him a poisoned food on the eve of the match against, against Colombia. According to him, I will tell you a secret. Mark Vivian Fue's wife, Marie Louise, poisoned my son. That after, that's the, the night before the match because my son actually said he was going to divorce her at midnight. So she brought food to Fue. If you were in my place, you must fight. It must not be Mark Fue's who was supposed to be killed that way. When Mark ate the food, he started vomiting. To have, he had diarrhea, he said. He also rubbish Marie Louise for sweeping money raised during the gala matches played in honor of the husband, Mark Vivian Fue. He continued that she, was in, she had embezzled all the money provided by the government for Mark Vivian Fue's family. They are currently at loggerheads about Mark Vian Fue's property. According to him, Marie Louise has claimed all the property, including the property his son handed to him, a family resident at Ela Esono. And he says he feels frustrated because Marie Louise is a girl he picked from the gutters of uh, that he picked from the gutters and gave him to his son for marriage. He says Marie Louise was also accused of being a reckless mother to have allowed the, her son to become an arm robber in France, 
What new thing that her elder son Scott is in jail for committing armed robbery? According to the father, that's uh, Martin Amugu, former team former teams we are not spare out from the father, as he also told the population that only Samuel Etofis has paid him a visit, and he also applauded him for attending to him all the time and also assisting him financially. He also mentioned Rigo Besson, saying that he was one of the friends to Mark Fue, but since Mark Vivian Fue left, he has not paid him any visits. Uh, about Vivian Fue's abandoned stadium, he said, Mary Louise has refused to talk with Samuel Etofis, who is so much ready to complete that stadium. Let's watch the video for more details regarding that story. Papa Fouet, je demande, mm -hmm. si vous avez une fille, là maintenant, qui va en mariage, vous, vous savez, bah, on ne va pas souhaiter euh, un malheur à la, au mari, au mari de, de votre fille, à votre gendre, mais, mais mm -hmm. si vous avez une fille qui euh, épouse un homme et que cet homme-là venait à disparaître, mais vous, vous savez que euh, c'est la fille qui hérite des biens de son mari, parce que, enfin, même dans un régime de biens euh, commun ou séparé, mais c'est la, la, la fille, votre fille, qui est allée en mariage, qui euh, hérite des biens. Et que ce, ce sont les fils, à la limite, qui peuvent lui contester euh, euh, cette paternité de, 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 de certains biens. Euh, non. Euh, disons, nous sommes des bantous. Quand nous sommes des bantous, ça ne se passe pas comme ça. Ça ne se passe pas comme ça. Euh, je suis un grand-père. Mm -hmm. Quand je suis un grand-père, quand je vois que ça ne marche pas quelque part, j'ai le droit de mettre de l'ordre. J'ai le droit de mettre de l'ordre. Parce que euh, si je vous dis que en tant que grand, en tant que vieux, j'ai observé beaucoup de choses. C'est ça qui m'a fait euh, prendre ces recul. Quand vous, vous avez une fille, euh, Marie-Louise, c'est moi qui ai parti doter Marie-Louise. C'est moi qui ai parti demander la main à Marie-Louise. Marc Vivien Fouet n'était pas. À l'heure où je vous parle, je ne connais pas le village de Marie-Louise. Mais pourquoi ça, ça signifie que depuis le départ, après, après que vous, vous, vous soyez allé euh, demander la main, euh, vous n'avez vraiment jamais porté, porté Marie-Louise à cœur si, si vous ne connaissez pas son village, ça signifie qu'il n'y a vraiment jamais eu de lien assez fort entre vous et, 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 et... sa maman. C'est sa maman qui est à l'origine de tout ça. J'ai dit que je m'en vais voir le village de Marie-Louise. Sa maman me, dit, me fait comprendre que euh, je ne peux pas arriver là-bas. Les voitures ne partent pas là-bas. J'ai dit que j'ai le 4x4. Je veux me débrouiller. Elle dit qu'il faut attendre. On attend jusqu'à présent. Ce n'était pas de ma volonté. Si je vous dis que pour demander la main à Marie-Louise, on m'a fait neuf listes. J'ai tout donné. J'ai tout donné. De sorte que nous sommes arrivés à 9 heures du matin. De 9 heures jusqu'à 2 heures du matin. Video goes to Vision Card, and of course, if you want to watch extended description or extended details re re relating to that story, you can visit Vision Card for more details. Away from that, let's take you to our next story. We are talking football. We are we are talking about World Football Federation or World Football Governing Body FIFA. FIFA. FIFA has actually agreed. FIFA has agreed to use a semi-automated uh, off-site technology at the the tournament in Qatar. It says the new technology will be able to automatically detect off-site play and immediately signal them to the officiating refuse. This new technology is expected to limit the amount of controversial calls which comes to help, which comes to amend the, the use of 
video assistant Rifi. Let's watch that video for more details. A sensor in the center of the ball sends inertial data 500 times per second, allowing a more precise detection of the kick point compared to conventional broadcasts and optical tracking, which are limited to 50 frames per second. In addition, 12 dedicated tracking cameras mounted underneath the roof of each stadium track the ball and 29 points on the body of each individual player 50 times per second, calculating their exact position on the pitch. The 29 points include all limbs and extremities that are relevant for offside calls, allowing the team in the video operation room to know the exact position of a player at any given moment. All player and ball data is processed in real time by artificial intelligence, which triggers alerts in the video operation room when an offside position is detected. The system constantly tracks and alerts once the ball is received by a player who is in an offside position when the ball was played. The video match officials validate the proposed decision by manually checking the automatically selected kick point and the automatically created offside line. The offside decision is then communicated to the referee via audio headset. For improved communication to the fans after the offside decision has been confirmed by the referee, a replay animation is created and shown in the stadium and on TV. OK, so let's recap the key points from the video then. There's going to be 12 cameras in each stadium tracking 29 data points on each player, including each limb and their extremities. Added to that, there's a sensor in the ball used at the tournament, sending data 500 times a second, making it incredibly precise when the ball is kicked. If the ball is received by an attacker in an offside position, the technology sends an automated offside alert to the video officials who then review the footage manually. The process, which is expected to be quicker than the current VAR setup, is then confirmed by the referee and a 3D animated animation creation by the technology pops up and this will be shown on screens in the credit to that video goes to sky sport news we thank them so much for that video of course we'll talk something else we talk holiday job cmtv that is the chilling media group is also giving a holiday job a three months holiday job to all the students out there to all the youth in cameroon to assist them i mean this is an opportunity for all the youth to actually take out this opportunity and support their parents by making out some small money for themselves and also to assist their parents in case of back to school. I would love us to get a video for more details from the CEO himself. Do you want to make money this holiday? C Media is offering a wonderful opportunity where you can make over 200,000 francs just by selling CM Flix subscriptions. You may be wondering what CM Flix is all about. CM Flix is a platform where you can stream over 400 live television channels. CM Flix is television in your pocket or television everywhere you go. Your local cable television networks offer over 70 to 80 television channels at the cost of 5,000 francs a month. Why on CM Flix we offer over 400 live television channels at the cost of only 2,000 francs per month? This job opportunity is available for everyone, irrespective of your age. All you need to do is to contact us through the WhatsApp numbers on your screen. CM Flix Television in your pocket. Thank you so much, C Media Company, for giving our opportunity to many youths. And of course, if you are interested, do so to get the numbers you had on your screen. We'll be bringing you more updates in our subsequent edition of our news. And of course, in our other programs, all you need to do is you need to stay connected, stay tuned to CMTV, so you can get updates regarding that job opportunity. For presentation, I'm our Gracious Beridun. And of course, General Supervision came in from our station manager. That's Mr. Bobe Kwanchamba. And the person I think about was none other than Mr. Foso Oliver. See you and stay out of trouble.